In this video, I will show you that how you can add multiple foreign keys on the same table with the help of the PHP MyAdmin. So right now in my screen, you can see that we have three tables, uh, users, groups and contacts. So in the contacts table, so in this table, you can see we have few fields, ID, name, phone and user ID. I also want to add another field so that I could save the group ID as well. So right now you can see we have multiple groups in the groups table uh, like this. So I will just create another field in the contacts table. And after that, we will add the foreign keys on these two fields. So click on the go button here. It will show you this page from here just type the name of the field that you want to add i want to use group id as the name of this field and other than that you can keep it as it is now click on the save button with that that field is created now click on the structure and here you can see two fields uh, are ready user id and group id now let's create foreign keys on both of these columns for that click on the relation view and from here uh, you have to type the name of the foreign key that you want to add for example i want to add contact user id and further here you have to select the field where you want to add that foreign key so I want to add that foreign key on the user ID and uh, I want to link that user ID with the users table. So select the table name users and from there I want to link this user ID to the ID field of the users table. So in this way you will be able to add the foreign key. And about these things uh, like we have restrict selected in both of these options. So what uh, these will do is that if you have selected restrict on delete, that's mean if there are some entries in the contacts table uh, and you try to delete a user, but your uh, few of your contacts have the ID of that user that is being deleted MySQL will stop it from deleting that entry in the users table. It will restrict you from doing that. So to solve that problem, you first have to delete the contact that has that user ID. Then you can try deleting the user with that ID. So if you don't want uh, that behavior, you just can change the uh, action, for example, if you select the set null, then whenever uh, a user is deleted, then the, the contact that has that user ID, it will automatically uh, remove the user ID from the user ID field and it will uh, set null instead of that, that, that user ID because that user ID does not exist anymore because somebody has deleted that user already. So it will do that thing automatically for you. And after that we have cascade. So with the cascade option, if you select that, then whenever you delete a user, then all of the contacts that are using the ID of that user in its table, then it will delete all of those contacts. That's how it will work. So for example, you have uh, a user with the ID one and you have three contacts with the user id1 so if you delete a user with the id1 then mysql will automatically delete all of those three contacts for you so that's how it will work okay now we need another foreign key that is group id and i want to add foreign key on the group id field so select that field and after that select the table where you want to link this field I want to link this field with the groups table and in the groups table, I want to link it with the ID field. So ID is the primary key of the groups table. So now I will just click on the save button and 
okay after that you will notice that both of these uh, foreign keys have been created and ready to be used now if you go back to the browse button so in the context table right now there is nothing in it so we will start inserting some data click on the insert and let's create a contact so here i will type the name uh, xyz phone number would be this and as these fields are linked with some tables like user id is linked with the users table group id is linked with the groups table so php my admin would automatically show you a list of all of the user ids from the user table and all of the groups ids from the group table and not only that it is very user friendly it will show you the name of or, or something meaningful data as well so that you could see what is that i user id for example it is showing you the email from that table against the user id one so i will just click on that also for the group id if you click on it you can see that uh, it has the it has showing the group ids along with the titles of the group so i will select this one and click on the go button So after that, you will see the success message. And if you click on the browse button, you can see that the data has been inserted along with the user ID and the group ID. And as these uh, both of these fields are the uh, foreign keys, so that's why PHP my admin has made them hyperlink. So you can click on any of these IDs so that you could if you want to see uh, who is this user ID, you can just click on this ID. It will take you to the users table and show you that specific user for you. Similarly, if you go back, if you click on the group ID, it will take you to the groups table and it will show you who is that group ID. So I clicked on that. I can see it is a group one. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos. And also please like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.